Hello, internet friends. Today, I'm going to show you how I make and attach a nylon fall to a whip. We are going to need six different objects to make and attach this fall. Uh, they're all pretty simple, so you're going to need scissors, forceps, fid, lighter, a little yarn needle. You also need, lastly, a piece of paracord that is going to become your fall. So this is 48 inches long. You can make it longer than that, but I wouldn't make it any shorter than that. So at least 48 inches of paracord. I think we're all set. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna take your paracord and you wanna take these guts out. So all this cord that's sticking out, you wanna pull that out. Think. You can save these, you can make crackers out of these if you are running low. All right, so now that we have that, we are going to take one end either end, doesn't matter. You're gonna slide this yarn needle into the paracord. You're gonna take your lighter and you're just gonna hold it on there for a second. And then you just kinda wanna round that out a little bit, just so there's no like sharp little paracord edges that are gonna snag. There you go, done. So you're gonna fold it in half, right? You're gonna find the middle of the other side, and you're gonna take the side that would fold in with the needle, and you're going to take your fid, and you're gonna poke a hole right here, I think, just like that. You're gonna poke a hole. So if I follow, this is where the hole is on the paracord, if I follow this side, that's where my needle is right now. You keep going this way, nothing. So you're poking a hole just until it kind of, you know, opens up enough to stay there for a second. So don't squish it. Carefully take your fid out and you can see there's kind of like a little space there now. So take your needle and just go straight back on itself and you're going to stick the needle into that little space you made just like that. So you can see you've formed a little circle here. So what we're gonna end up with, this circle is just gonna be really tiny and it's gonna be down there. So you've already formed it. So now what you do is you just push this needle through the rest of your paracord. I've pushed that all the way through. So you can see now, this is the end that was empty. This is the needle right here. And so we have this circle right there. So I just kind of go, I keep pulling it until that circle is about, eh, maybe about that big. Don't pull it too much. You do want to leave that little hole right there. And then I just take this needle, boop, pull it out. We're done with that. And this is it guys. This is your ready to go fall. That was it. Super, super easy. Next step is attaching this to your thong. I'll see you in a second. All right, now we are all ready to go and attach our fall to our thong. So I have untied my little knot here at the end. So I have these two strands just loose. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your fall and you're going to take your forceps and put those right through that little hole you made. And then you're gonna take the end of your thong, grab it just like this, and pull those ends through your fall. Think, think. And then you push this all the way up to there. If this loosens a little, just tighten it back up. You're all good. Think, just like that. So I like to, you see how this is a little bit, let's see if I can get you in there. See how it's a little bit loose, there's space in there. I like to tighten that up just a little bit. All you have to do is pull on the end of it. So it's not super tight, you want it to slide. And then I take it maybe an inch or so up the fall or the thong, just like that. So what you do next is you have your two strands coming out here. You have this right here is you're going to put this between your two strands, just like that. And you're going to form a little bump. So you have a little space right here to come through just like that. And what you're going to do is these two strands that are in front of your fall, you're going to cross them behind and put them through that little hole. So the one that you have coming off to your right 
is going to go to your left and through that hole. So it's off on the right, so it goes underneath everything around the back and then between your thong and the fall through that little hole and you just pull it tight so you've formed a little loop. And you do the exact same thing on the other side. So you still have those pieces coming off on each side, but now they've formed a little knot in there. Hopefully you guys can see that. So now you just have to tighten it up and then you're good to go. So I do this very slowly. Make sure you don't get too many buckles. So you just kind of pull. This is your fall that you're doing. These are your two thong pieces. And you can see that just slides a little. So I pull this down a little bit and then I pull this down a little bit. And if you look at it, now it's tight enough. So it's not all the way tight, but it's tight enough to move around a little bit. So you can kind of see, so that's the little hole that we made. This is your thong. And these are your two strands that you just knotted. So they're gonna, one's gonna lay on top of the other, just however you did them. All right, so that's what that knot looks like up close. So now I'm gonna tighten it up all the way. So to do that, I just kind of pull lastly one one time there and then pull really tight, both hands. I hold here and then I hold here and then I kind of put my two fingers and brace the knot right there, right there, just like that. All right, so now you're ready for the next step. You can take your fid and this little, uh, this is the top of the fall, like the top of the um, little part with the hole in it that we made. So you're gonna stick the fid up through that. So from here up. And you're basically untightening it a little bit. So all that tightening we just did, we want it a little looser, but not too much looser. So you can kind of see now there's a space there. It's a little loose. So we're going to bring these two pieces around and through that. So you have one off to the right and one off to the left. So what you do is I take my forceps once again, put that into that space that we just made. And then your one that's off to the right is gonna do the same thing essentially that we just did to make that first knot. So you're gonna go over to the left and you're gonna come up and you're gonna grab the very end with those forceps. So just like that, it's gonna come this way and then I grab it just like that and pull it through. So you're forming, once again, just a little circle here. So it's coming from the right around to the left and you're gonna keep it on that left side. Don't pull it all the way to the right. So you're just gonna pull it straight down, down. And you're gonna do the same thing with the other one. Just pull those really tight, just like that. And that's it. That's your new fall attached. You got your little bunny ears here. That's what the back looks like. Nice and tight, nice and clean. And then all you have to do to finish it off is cut. You can make these, I like to leave them a little bit longer. Um, it just gives you some extra space if this ever needs to be uh, repaired. And if you are doing a repair, keep in mind you are gonna lose a little bit of length in your whip. So you might have to pull it back to like here to replace this, just so you have enough room. That's why I leave these a little bit longer so that you don't have to do that. And then the only other thing you have to do is you have to take care of the end of this. So remember, we still have this piece sticking out. This is where our needle was, and we have this end here. So what you do is you just taper this a little bit. So pull on this, this part here, Pull on it while holding this end. So slide that up. So you got maybe, I don't know, eight inches or so that's out. And then snip it. This is not an exact science, you guys. You'll be fine. And then you just let this piece come over the other one. And so now you have a tapered fall. And then you just burn the end. And you're done. Oh my gosh. It worked. I did it. I have you guys balanced on a book that is in my lap. I am unprepared for filming, but there you go. <laughs> like this video, subscribe, have a great day.